Greetings, 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 y'all. We are getting ready to do our Sagittarius. May 31st through June, the sixth weekly reading on Wednesday are our fire signs. Make sure y'all turn in every Wednesday. Tune in, turn on, tap in to Wednesdays for our fire signs. If you have fire signs in your chart somewhere, okay? This is for your rising sun, moon, Venus, cross watchers, and cuspers. This is also a timeless reading. So whenever you fire signs get this reading, it is meant for you to have it. Like, like, share, subscribe. Uh, let me know down below if it resonates with you in your present narrative, uh, spiritual journey, however. Um, and just only take what belongs to you. You don't have to have everything about the reading. Check out the other days. Now, tomorrow, we will be finishing up all uh, four of them. I will be doing the air signs tomorrow, every Thursday, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I've already done the water and the earth today the fire so make sure you go through the videos uh you know to find out you know your rising sun moon to see what other uh information that your higher self wants to relate to you through the other signs that you have okay um you can always go to astrocafe.com put your information in there and get what your rising sun moon and venus is if you do not know okay astrocafe.com okay and let's get on with your reading, Sagittarius, and see what it is your uh, spirit source energy, your creator, uh, your God, whoever, Buddha, you call Allah, whoever you know your prime creator is, spirit guides, ancestors, your Rishas. Okay, let's see what they have for you. Coming in under the bottom, we have the High Priestess. Y'all are like in that intuitive uh, uh where you're getting a lot of psychic or a lot of information coming in through the third eye. Uh, we know Sagittarius is about mental exploration. They love the, the, the philosophy stuff, the spiritual aspects and stuff. Um, some of them may be having glimpses of, you know, psychic abilities, you know, getting fine tuned or increasing out there. Uh, let's move on see what spirit source energy have for May 31st through June the 6th for our Sagittarius Woo! page of wands wanting to come in and communicate wanting to travel you know y'all are like looking ahead spirit source energy okay hold on oh wow high priestess shows up it was under the bottom interesting 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 oh leo just had this in the middle oh and that one oh lord and the moon whoa so hmm, somebody's being very secretive about something Ooh. all right spirit source energy what else does sagittarius need to know we're gonna leave that over there spirit source energy Woo. Ooh, death card in reverse overall energy. What else does Sagittarius need to know? Somebody's resisting change, being a little stubborn. Spirit source energy. What else does Sagittarius need to know? There we go. Well, not going to leave that right there. Spirit source energy. Woo! Signature move, baby. Seven of Swords. Somebody being slick. Rick. Somebody being slick. Spirit source energy. What else does Sagittarius need to know? For their highest good. Spirit source energy. One more card. Woo! Baby! Whoa! What else does Sagittarius need to know? Spirit source energy. Ah! Dang it. I don't want those. Let's try this again. Wow! Y'all got a lot of energy going on here, Sagittarius, with this fire energy, spirit source energies. There we go, seven of cups. Okay. This your under all energy, they said, not the death card. So we're going to leave the death card right there because it go with the magician. Okay, world. Whoa. Y'all have completed what y'all needed to complete. Um, I thought I had another crystal out here somewhere. Okay. I hope y'all can see. Look at the energy over these cards here. Overall energy page of wands. Someone is coming in wanting to communicate with you, Sagittarius. This could be a Sagittarius female or a Sagittarius male. 
someone is coming in, some communication is coming in. Some of you guys are feeling the need. You want to travel abroad. You want to relocate. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, you're full of energy. You're, you're feeling the, the uh, passion about something and it's moving you forward, okay? It's moving you to travel. You may be relocating. You may be taking jobs in other states and you might be even changing jobs, okay? Some of you guys may be even getting into communication where you're doing a lot of speaking, motivational speaking of some sort. You have your Gemini energy here, Six of Swords, where you and your person are moving away. Your under, underneath energy is you're wanting to move forward with this person uh, who you who you feel is for you and at first it was rocky at first but then it pans out the 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 relationship was kind of testy at first but you're learning to balance things out you're you're learning to come together to kind of smooth things out to smooth this transition out okay the high priestess is here is saying that you want somebody to confide in you're following your inner voice on this one you're trusting your spirit guys and your inner voice here up here with the high priestess you know, sitting right here on the throne, you know, you know, guiding you has balance of the yin and the yang, the feminine and the masculine energy. Your high priestess here, you're wanting somebody to confide in. Okay. You see this person as also the queen of swords, very truthful, very honest, very, uh, uh, proactive with this queen of swords here. Okay. They're, they're taking action that they're, that they need to, they're, they're, taking, they're having control over their thoughts, over their words, over, you know, their communication. They're very communicative, very, uh, uh, they speak the truth. This person is an honest, trustworthy person. Okay. This person is very attractive. Even, you know, um, is able to cut through emotions and communicational issues, you know, also something is hidden that the queen of swords is not saying you feel Sagittarius that something is hitting, uh, beneath the the surface here of this moon um this uh moon also is about being intuitive this moon is also about being secretive okay the moon is also about hiding what you're working on or if you're working on a project being secretive sagittarius about it not letting it out not speaking about it right now just keeping it to yourself your moves you know because you're having uh people trying to spy you know and and sneak up look sneak up behind you see they're looking at the moon but you're not watching behind you so you got to watch out for those behind you trying to come in you know through that back door sort of sense to try to you know get get some type of idea of what you what you got going on but you're not worried about it because like i said with the queen of swords you kind of cut through the bullshit you cut through the emotions and the communications of people, regardless of how that communication comes in, you're able to get right to the point, you know, and you know who you can trust and you know who you can't trust. Okay. Y'all got a lot of energy up here, uh, Sagittarius. Oh, that's another card up under there. Holy shit. Okay. Let's move on. What's crossing the Empress here? Let me get to this second row. I'm going to try not to mess these up, y'all. What is this? Oh, the Four of Swords. Sleeping at night, worrying up at night, not sleeping with the four of swords is, uh, you know, you need a break. You need to get away. You, you, you just went through a heartache, a heartbreak of some kind where some type of disagreement has happened uh, and you, you're not resting uh, about it. You're, keep, you're worrying about it. Okay. The king of cups is crossing the high priestess okay that is in front of the high priestess uh the ace of sword is about asserting uh the sword of truth being truthful with yourself being truthful with others uh communication this is the sword of truth coming in this is clarity coming in for you sagittarius you're having that clear moment about that queen of swords and this is the nine of cups you are feeling under the moon something is hidden about the nine of cups this emotional fulfillment you see this person as your everything um this queen of swords as your everything this high priestess as your everything like you have learned your lessons that you needed to learn uh in this life okay you've learned what you needed to learn okay so underneath here is the seven of swords again this is someone lying it's my slickery card of course 
being deceptive, not being honest, trying to sneak away, trying to cheat, trying to cause a disruption or a break in communication, right? Uh, with the Four of Swords energy right here. Now, what's here is the the Four of Wands, the person wanting the happy home and happy family, the balance in the home life, the community, and the uh, the family life. And this is someone walking away from what no longer serves them for us, the Seven of Swords. They're walking away. They pack their bags. They're like, I'm out of here. These are, this is not serving a purpose anymore. And it's like, it goes with the seven of the six of swords here that you've, you've, you've looked at all these cups. You've looked at all the opportunities, all the emotional fulfillment, all the choices that you have here with these cups, these seven of cups after the seven come to hate where you figure out what well, shit, I don't need none of this shit. You know, you're like, I have more opportunities ahead of me than I do behind me. So let me just leave these behind because these no longer serve me. So you walk away from those cups in search of and taking control with the king of wands. You now have more opportunities ahead of you. OK, and that's what you're not seeing with the with the deception of the moon or what's being hidden from you is that you do have you do have opportunities coming up. OK that are, that are ahead of you and once you learn to you know be clear about what you want in life uh with this four of one energy here you will begin to to realize that you're taking back control of your life you're able to overcome so many more challenges uh in life you're sitting in your power as the king you're a protector you're you're able to overcome difficulties and challenges. You're no longer running. You're sitting in your power, very protective, a leader, you know, taking over as the king of wands and the queen of wands coming together to speak the truth. Look at that. Queen of swords and the king of wands. Wow. Woo. Baby, 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 baby. And then also you have the high priestess coming in with that truth and that clarity you know, uh, to see through opportunities and options and having these options and these choices ahead, which one will give you the most fulfillment or if you're going to divulge in all of them, it's totally up to you, you know. Now, on to, this is two cards too, the emperor. Woo! The knight of wands is coming in to take charge. You, the knight of wands is coming in with passion, coming in with uh, wanting to take action, wanting to share their ideas and creativity with you and, and take charge and, and be the leader that the Knight of Wands, that you want the Knight of Wands to be even in this uh, whole uh, uh, scenario here. The death card in reverse is meaning somebody didn't want to change at first. Somebody was re refusing change, but after the after all of this, transpires they get the victory and the magician i mean somebody's working some magic here somebody is manifesting this this change of this this knight of wands coming in taking the leadership this was something that was you know being divinely guided uh perhaps hidden by the moon at first the person ego with the death card having so much uh depression or resistant to change with the scorpio energy not wanting to transform not wanting to release certain attachments but then the victory the success of the six of wands come in and it kind of opens up a whole new uh uh scenario and this is you having the magic this is me the little black girl the pony puff girl that's me yep mm -hmm. that's me <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> Don't that look like me? <laughs> Black girl magic. That's what I'm talking about. Look at you working that magic. You're Sagittarius, y'all are working that magic, baby. Y'all got the power in your hand and you know it. You got the willpower and the control to create your reality and to create whatever you choose to create at this present time. You have the magician and you have the high priestess here and you have the emperor here. Okay, so you got control over your life now. You you all have uh, taken back the control from people being deceptive People being this uh, sneaky seven swords of energy, putting thoughts into your head about what you should keep and what you should hold on to, you know, what you need to be doing, right? So y'all have taken back control over your life. 
you know, and y'all are taking that, y'all are acting in that king of wands, you know, that balance, that queen and king balance of being truthful with yourself, okay, and going after what you want here and, 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 and the opportunities that are ahead of you. You're not buying people's bullshit. You're not letting people distract you anymore, and you're moving forward with it. You know, whatever you've decided, you, you're you're ready to move forward with it. Spirit Source Energy, let's do some clarification on here for y'all. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, nice reading for y'all this week. Spirit Source Energy, y'all had a lot going on. This energy was like, look at there. Leo, y'all going to be given the strength to get through this. So it's no, there's a death card again. Major transformation ahead. So it popped back up in reverse. Soulmates. Yeah, this is a, a very good change, y'all were fighting. Look at that. Okay, let's see uh, what this... Uh, tell us more about this King of Cups and Four of Wands, Spirit Source Energy for Sagittarius. Tell us more about the King of Cups and the Four of Wands. Woo, the new beginning. Bay B, the new beginning. You got a new beginning coming. A new beginning. Spirit Source Energy, tell us more about the death card in reverse spirit source energy what else about the death card in reverse look at there damn my signature move right there baby i dubbed it my signature move Woo! look what the shit is about baby this person was definitely resisting the change <laughs> this person didn't want to realize that they love you they were fighting it. Baby, this, look at there. The Knight of Wands is out here. I mean, the King of Wands is out here twice. Baby, they're, 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 what's being hidden in this reversal of this moon and this death card is that they were very passionate about you. They love you. They are, they care about you. They really have uh, sincere feelings about you, the Queen of Cups here. They want to offer a marriage proposal, a commitment to you, okay? They see that you are their wish fulfillment, okay? And they were fighting it tooth and nail. So it was an ego kind of uh, fighting against that dark side type of deal, you know, like where you not fighting against, not being truthful with yourself, you know, and wanting to, you know, uh, stay in this fantasy illusion about things and not really realize that this person is your wish fulfillment. This is what you wanted. This is the nine of cups. This is your success. This has something to do with your success even as a king of wands. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is the king of wand intention, spirit source energy? What is their intentions, spirit source energy? What is Sagittarius king of wands intentions here? Look at there. Hey, look at there. Signature move. Look, 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 look. Look at there. Ace of Pentacles, baby. Ace of Pentacles. That's their intentions. What is this that fell over here? Look at there. All about the Queen of Pentacles, baby. All about the Benjamins, baby. All about the Benjamins, baby. Look at that. That's fucking success. All fucking over this bitch. God damn. I'm about to lift my shades up and look at this shit again. Good Lord, Sagittarius. What the hell? Y'all got this shit going on. Look at this. The intentions of the, the King of Pentacles is to offer a fresh new start, an opportunity. So someone's going to be coming in, giving you something very tangible. This is your Taurus energy here. Um, very tangible in your hand that you can hold, that you can have, that you can touch, that you can feel good about. You have a balance here with the 1-1. The one, one. Look up the angel numbers 1-1 one, one, or 11 and see what they're saying. You have a, a chance for emotional fulfillment and not a chance, but an opportunity for emotional fulfillment as well as financial stability here. And this all evolves about the queen of Pentacles, Someone that's single, someone that's sitting in their power, don't really need anything, but got everything going on for them. This is the queen of Pentacles, security, emotional stability, fertility, abundant, just sexy, just a uh, popular, just like Mother Earth, you know, just fruitful, attractive, handsome, you know, got their shits and ducks together, baby, got everything together, you know, look at that. And the fact that their, the intentions are, they have a long life uh, together, 
they are building something together and the king is intentions is to build something with this queen of pentacles okay to build something long lasting relationship but this is a soulmate connection because the old man is there looking over this union so realizing that this new beginning with this queen of pentacles is destiny is destined to be it is like building something long lasting something tangible together a uh, 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 building uh, uh, or things coming to a completion the inheritance the legacy that's being left you know this is beautiful energy for Sagittarius beautiful energy what is the uh, advice your source energy what is the advice stay out your head don't think about it don't think about it it's gonna happen the advice is don't worry don't think about don't overthink get out get out of your head about this it's going to happen spirit source energy what about the uh, four of cups in reverse the emperor shit twice y'all taking the leadership baby y'all are taking over y'all are about to rule some shit the sagittarius is male or female y'all are about to be over some powerful shit here I mean, God dang. Mm. Y'all got stardom. Y'all got, you know, being in the public eye. Wow. This is success. This is your wish fulfillment, but this is also your ancestors answering your wish to be in the public eye, to be known, to be famous, to be some type of celebrity or well-known even in your community. Now, I'm not talking about Hollywood, even though sometimes I say this like the Hollywood star, the, the star, the, damn it, the, Hollywood walk, star fame, whatever the hell they call that damn shit, you know, but this is like getting that star on the sidewalk in Hollywood, but not necessarily being in Hollywood doing the shit that they fucking do, right? Because we already know they shit fucked up, but this is like you being famous or well-known in the community that you serve or even on your job because it has to do with pinnacles, right? It has to do with prosperity. It has to do with taking govern governorship and leadership over your life, Right? taking control of your life back so the Sagittarius has to take control over their life back and they've gotten the control they've gotten the courage and the confidence uh to take back their life and start this new beginning with the queen of pentacles that they love that they feel passionate about the king of wands up here twice they feel so much passion for you this is Sagittarius energy Woo, lord emperor Sagittarius energy this is about self-control. This is about them walking and stepping into that power. This is about them being a mentor to someone. This is, or some people, a father figure. This is about responsibility and leadership. You know, this is taking charge over situations and you're able to take charge over situations and get through them. Like, this is like such powerful, you know, um, this is the divine masculine. Oh, this is beautiful, y'all. Beautiful. Ah, ah, you're beautiful. Miguel and uh, Mariah Carey, y'all need to hear that song. Ah, ah, you're beautiful. This is some beautiful energy, y'all. Wow. A little bit scattered, but it's beautiful energy because you were going through so much and dealing with other people, trying to tell you what you should be doing, you know, and you had to fight them off. You know what I'm saying? So after you realize you're not going to be controlled by other people's thoughts and other people's ideas and other what other people think of you, you kind of get control of this, this whole situation and take charge as the emperor. And you use and, and let the intuition of the uh, high priestess guide you through this process, okay, through this whole uh, transformation. Wow. Oh, this is beautiful. All right, Sagittarius, that's y'all reading for uh, this week, May 31st through the six, June 6th. Let me know below if you if it resonates with you. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell button so you can get all these uploads, baby, on these uh, signs that may be in your chart messages. They are hidden for you uh, to help you guide you through the course of your journey, okay? so that you can make those uh, positive decisions in your best interest for you, moving you toward your higher self, following your instinct, okay? That's what this is about, following your instinct, trusting your instinct, 
getting in tune with your instinct. So uh, Sagittarius, this is very positive for you guys. Um, very happy for you here. Very positive energy. You know, stay blessed. Don't forget to let me know if it resonates below with you. Hit that like button if you've seen it and it and it and you viewed it at least. Uh, give me a like that keeps it circulating on social media so others may get the benefit from this reading as well. Um, and you know what your girls say, peace, love, and harmony. Because if you got peace, love, and harmony in yourself, you'll have peace, love, and harmony in the world. So peace, love, and harmony, Sagittarius.